Hey guys, what's going on? Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. If you guys are new to my channel, I post daily NFL news on my Twitter, my Instagram, and on YouTube. So you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining. Let's get straight into the news before I do any of that nonsense. Um, the New York Giants earlier this morning had announced that they made several transactions, including the release of wide receiver Keelan Doss. Literally right before I started recording this video, a new report posted by the Giants came out saying instead of releasing Keelan Doss, they placed wide receiver Robert Foster on injured reserve. This saves that roster spot for uh, Keelan Doss. So, wow, he was so close to being released. I actually wrote an article on it and posted it and everything. And then, boom, right as soon as I post it, he's not released. So, um, which is good. Good for Doss, bad for Robert Foster. But um, they've also made some transactions by signing two offensive linemen. Let me, uh, Chris Owens and Josh Rivas, if I'm pronouncing that right. Josh Rivas was, I believe, played football at Kansas State. He was released just a few days ago by the New York Giants, and then they re signed him this morning. Um, but they also did release a defensive lineman, Christopher Hinton. I don't know much about him, um, but Keelan Doss, to me, was the name that really stands out here just because he is that veteran receiver. He went undrafted in 2019, signed as an undrafted free agent by the Raiders. Uh, he was projected to be a mid-round pick in 2019, and he never was, and he just went undrafted, which is really surprising. Um, but Keelan Doss looks like he's going to be staying on the Giants, um, which is good for him, guys. Uh, but let's go over Keelan Doss's pro football reference because this news, this video was essentially going to be about Ross. Uh, but now you've lost Robert Foster, who I believe is more of a returner, special teams player. Uh, but I'll have to go over Robert Foster's news as well. In 2019, as a rookie, in eight games with the Las Vegas Raiders, at that time it was the Oakland Raiders, he had 14 targets, 11 receptions, 133 yards. Uh, so he had, what, 12.1 yard, yards per reception for a 78% catch rate. Freaking phenomenal. Uh, he was active in 2020 for the Raiders in one game, no receptions or anything, so he didn't record any stats. Um, so really, he's got two starts in his career, and they were both in his rookie season, and he's got 11 receptions in his career. Give this man a starting chance. Give Keelan Doss a starting chance. Uh, he set all-purpose yards records at UC Davis. Uh, I believe he was a touchdown record leader there as well. The guy can play. He's only 26 years old. You guys tell me your thoughts about Keelan Doss, especially since he's not released. I thought he was going to be picked up by another team for sure, but the Giants need to get him utilized. Kenny Galladay, Kadarius Toney, Keelan Doss. I feel like these can be your guys. You do start to have some depth. I think they've got some... Who else do they have? I don't think they have Slayton anymore. I think they had a guy named Slayton. Um, but I think those can... Doss is a very good just depth receiver, but I really think he could be a wide receiver two, wide receiver three on a team given the chance. You guys tell me your thoughts down below. Like I said, thank you so much for being here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the Discord server. Over 207 members in that Discord server right now talking about the NFL. Thanks, guys. And, oop, not that. <laughs> Stay sweet. God, I suck at this. All right.